Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In this video, we are going to have a look at the propeller shaft. The propeller shaft, sometimes known as the drive shaft, is a very critical component of a vehicle with rear wheel drive assembly. In four wheel drive vehicles, in all wheel drive vehicles, it transmits power from the transmission back to the drive wheel. See? It will supply power from the transmission to the differential. The differential is there to split power to the left and right wheel. It will change direction of travel. Differential also allows speed variation between left and right wheel. For example, when the vehicle is turning, when the vehicle is cornering, it will also serve as a final gear reduction by multiplying torque. Now, the propeller is a very critical component. It's a key component to connect that differential to this transmission. You know, the transmission is receiving power from the engine. Engine is here. Engine is producing power from the combustion of the air-fuel mixture. Air-fuel mixture will be ignited. Power will be developed in these cylinders. That power will be supplied to the transmission. The transmission will adjust torque and speed of the output. And then, by adjusting the torque and speed, it will supply to the propeller shaft. Then, the propeller shaft will send that power to the to the differential, and the differential is split it to the left and right wheel. For example, this is a rear wheel drive vehicle. Right here we have the propeller shaft. It is a spinning shaft. There are some key components to remember. For example, the shaft tube. Right here we have the shaft tube. This is a shaft tube. It is usually hollow. It's a cylindrical hollow tube that is strengthened and that is dynamically balanced, a hollow solid metal tube that transmits rotational force. Hollow tube is used because it has high resistance to torsional vibration and torsion. It has a load carrying capacity, high load carrying capacity than a solid bar. So a hollow cylindrical tube is used. So this is called the shaft tube. And the shaft tube have universal joints at either ends. The universal joint will allow flexibility of the suspension. It will maintain power transmission even though the suspension is moving up and down. So it will compensate for any angle variation. And on the transmission end of the propeller shaft, you usually have a universal joint. And there is a slip joint. Right here we have a slip joint. Usually there is a slip joint that is joining the transmission to the propeller shaft. For this particular, we have a slip joint here. So what is the duty of the slip joint? The slip joint will allow length variation of the propeller shaft. Now, when the vehicle is moving on an irregular road, for example, when the rear wheel is lowered, when that rear wheel is lowered, this length, it has to extend to accommodate for that length variation. So the tube, the propeller shaft tube, will have to move a little to the back, and that is allowed by the slip joint. The other function of the slip joint is when the vehicle is moving on a high surface, when the rear wheel is on a bump, this, it has to move to this side, and that is allowed by the slip joint and slip yoke assembly. On some propeller shaft, on a very long propeller shaft, there is a center bearing. This one is short, we don't have it, but on some very long ones, there is a center support that will allow the propeller shaft to be supported in the middle. Right here we have a center bearing that is going to support long propeller shafts. And then it goes to the differential right there. This right here is the center bearing, the center support bearing. On front engine front wheel vehicles or on front in rear engine rear wheel drive vehicles, there is no need of a propeller shaft. Propeller shafts are rather replaced by a CV joint. But when it comes to a rear wheel drive vehicle or a four wheel drive vehicle of this kind, propeller shafts are very critical. When you look at the different types of propeller shaft, we have a single piece propeller shaft. For example, this is a single piece propeller shaft. This is used in shorter vehicles. And it's a simple design, but it can vibrate at high speed. That is a disadvantage of a single-type propeller shaft. 
There are two piece type propeller shafts. This is found on long vehicles. When the vehicle has long wheelbase, it will have a two piece type propeller. This includes a center support bearing in order to reduce flex and vibration. And in some cases, there are carbon fiber propeller shafts. This one is actually made up of metal, but there are carbon fiber propeller shafts. These are used in high performance cars and it is stronger, it reduces rotational mass as well. So whenever people are planning to use lighter vehicle for propeller shaft, they go for carbon fiber propeller shaft instead of using metal propeller shaft. Now, when we look at the common problems that happen to a propeller shaft, the most common problem with a propeller shaft is vibration at high speed. If there is some type of unbalance, propeller shaft, they start to vibrate. This could, be lead to, this could be very dangerous because vibration can lead to failure of the joints. It can lead to bent shaft. When the propeller shaft is somehow bent or when it is out of balance, it can cause vibration. Now, in order to eliminate that vibration, propeller shafts are dynamically balanced and you might see weights that are attached on the shaft tube. For example, on this particular propeller shaft, you see there is a metal piece attached to it in order to dynamically balance the propeller shaft. Otherwise, if the propeller shaft is not dynamically balanced, it will cause vibration, especially at high speed. The other problem associated with the propeller shaft is a clanking noise when accelerating. This is when usually when there is a failure at the universal joint. When there is wear at the universal joint, that can cause noise, especially during acceleration. Now the problem with the universal joint is it is grease lubricated and uh, when the grease dry out, where, when it oozes out of the joint, as you can see it's oozing out like this, that will cause the uh, needle bearings to run dry and that can cause failure of the universal joint. So if the universal joint fails, that is also causing clanking noise. The other problem associated with the propeller shaft is excessive shaft play. This is usually caused by loose bolt or damaged center bearing on a long propeller shaft, on a center supported propeller shaft, that can be an issue. There are some maintenance procedures to be followed when checking propeller shaft. Always check the universal joint. You can rock the universal joint propeller shaft in order to see the hulls of the universal joint. With the vehicle parked, you can simply rock the propeller shaft and it should not be moving in here. There should not be relative motion between the propeller shaft yoke and uh, this stationary yoke. If there is a relative motion, it means the needle inside the universal joint is damaged and it might need replacement. This might make it nosy when the vehicle is driven with a damaged universal joint. So always check the universal joint regularly. Listen for any squeaking or clanking noise as the vehicle is driven. If vibration occurs at the propeller shaft when the vehicle is driven, especially after off-roading, and it means the propeller shaft requires balancing also. And also don't forget to lubricate. Don't forget to lubricate the yokes. The yokes, they need lubrication. For example, right here, there is a grease tab. It has to be lubricated. This will help the slip joint to be lubricated. So don't forget to lubricate those as well. Inspect after heavy impact. If you run into a pothole, if somehow the vehicle is exposed to some kind of heavy impact, it should be checked as well. So these are some of the things that you can do in order to take care of the propeller shaft. Always make sure that the propeller shafts are well greased and well maintained and avoid aggressive driving also that will prolong the service life of your propeller shaft. Some sport vehicles are using carbon fiber drive shafts that will reduce weight for better acceleration. The bottom line is the propeller shaft is a very crucial component and uh, keeping it in good condition ensures a smooth, vibration-free driving. So always make sure that you are taking care of the propeller shaft. If it is out of balance, if it is bent, if it, is start, if it starts vibration, then it needs replacement or it needs some sort of maintenance to restore a smooth and vibration-free operation. Well, dear viewers, that is all we have for you regarding the operation and construction of a propeller shaft. If you find this video helpful and if you like what has been presented, please smash the like button. If you are new to this channel, do consider subscribing. Turn on notifications so that you will be the first to get notified whenever we come up with another video. Until then, stay safe.